US President Joe Biden says he expects a significant de-escalation today in Israel after another phone call with the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Let's go live to Sky News, Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen. Now, Annalise, good afternoon to you. Local time, President Biden is under increasing pressure to intervene. He is not just from his international counterparts, but also within his own party. There is growing pressure for the US to act, in particular from the pro-Palestinian section of the Democrat Party, which has been quite vocal over the last 10 days that we've seen this conflict escalate to the most extraordinary levels compared to the last time we've seen conflict in 2014. But President Joe Biden's been favouring having quiet diplomacy. His administration's reiterated that they've had dozens of senior level phone calls, but this was the third phone call in the last week between the president and the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In the readout provided, the White House has said that President Biden spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu today. The two leaders had a detailed discussion on the state of events in Gaza, Israel's progress integrating the capabilities of Hamas and other terrorist elements, and ongoing diplomatic efforts by regional governments and the United States. The president conveyed to the prime minister that he expected a significant de-escalation today on the path to a ceasefire. Now, the key word there is expected because this is something that he's urged, but he hasn't gone as far as calling for it, which in international diplomatic language is quite an important distinction. So we haven't heard any kind of response either from the Prime Minister of Israel that he would be looking to engage in that de-escalation simply off the back of what President Biden has said. We try to target those who target us with great precision. That is not as surgical an operation as it is, even in a surgical room in a hospital, you don't have the ability to prevent collateral damage around affected tissues. Even then you can't. And certainly in a military operation you cannot. But there is no army in the world that does more than the Israeli army, in the Israeli security services, in Israeli intelligence, to prevent collateral damage. The other front that the Biden administration is fighting this particular battle on is within the Security Council of the United Nations. It's there France is pushing for a resolution to call for both Israel and Palestine to de-escalate the conflict. It's there that the US hasn't been cooperative, according to, uh, to sources, within that particular negotiating uh, forum. But what we have seen is certainly an uptick in uh, activity from the Biden administration speaking to Israel and increasing pressure to find some way to de-escalate this tension.